Now here's how we can add favorites at the Notion widget on the iPhone, right? So if I scroll over to my Notion page, I have a bunch of widgets and the icon and stuff, and I have one page or one widget with the favorites, right? So I'm gonna delete this and show you exactly how to set it up. So you are gonna hold down anywhere on your screen like this, you will get into the edit mode. So tap on edit, then add widget. From the list, you can scroll through the suggestions, but essentially just find Notion right there. You might as well use the search bar if you prefer. So tap on this and you get to the selection of widgets. So the first one is page, which just gets chosen and is always going to be there. But if you scroll over, we have the favorites and that is actually available in the two sizes. So either this like rectangular one or this large square, which is going to take up about half of the screen of your iPhone, so keep that in mind. But essentially, this larger one can contain up to like eight pages, which can be added to your favorites, right? So that that is the first step. Let me just show you how we can add this large one, right? So we have right here, I can hit done, and I have already three pages, which are my favorites. And the way that it works is that you actually have the ability to choose a page to be your favorite. So when you get inside your regular Notion app, right? So you can go to the main section. And when you click on the home icon, you have, for example, the private right here. If I scroll down, I have a different section called favorites, right? So I can manage those, which also show up in here on my favorites widget. To manage them, you can essentially just uh, locate any other page. So for example, I have the to do task list and habit tracker. So I'm going to choose this example page. I'm going to open it up, tap one of the three dots and I'll add it to my favorites. When I leave the app, it is now part of my favorites on the widget. So it's pretty simple and that's how it works. In order to remove it, I'm going to again, open up the very same page or better yet, we're going to remove this to do list. I'm going to get inside and then tap one of the three dots again and click on remove from favorites. Now, when I come back, you can see that it disappeared from the widget. So it is pretty simple, pretty intuitive. That's how you kind of manage it. So yeah, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel so you never miss videos like these, and I'll see you in the next one.